Today I'm going to check out an antique shop here in Bozeman, Montana. Now I was going to go out to Butte or Big Timber or somewhere around here and go check out some antique shops uh, there. I've uh, canvassed this whole area up here when I first moved here in uh, 2017. But it's always good to check uh, antique shops because uh, they're always constantly changing. There's old stuff going out, new stuff coming in. And so it's always like a constantly shifting landscape. So it's uh, it's always good to revisit uh, antique shops that you might have found something cool in one time and just go back in and revisit it and see what you can find in there. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm actually going to go to an antique shop that I actually haven't been to in almost two years and uh, see what has changed here, if anything. Uh, I'm sure I'll find something uh, new. And of course, I already know there's going to be stuff that's in there that's radioactive because it's just an antique shop, that's how it goes. So anyway, let's head inside.
I uh, really didn't find anything too terribly radioactive in there. Just uh, some uh, ceramic pieces, some porcelain stuff that just had like a light glaze of uranium oxide on it. You find a lot of that stuff uh, around antique shops, so nothing like too terribly radioactive. Uh, that's kind of the way it goes. You don't always find uh, screamers, <laughs> as it was, you know, making this scream. Uh, yeah, I didn't find any radium, didn't find any like uh, uh, orange fiesta wear or something like that. So, yeah, just kind of the way it goes. Now we'll go to another antique shop while I'm uh, out and about and see what I can find. side of the street. No sun to keep me warm. All right, downtown Antiques, that's where I'm going to, down here in Bozeman. slightly radioactive. Oh, four of them? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, 20. Yeah, 20. Alright, well that's gonna do it for downtown Bozeman and for the whole radioactive antique exploring today. At least I got something. Alright, now that I'm back home, I figure I might as well give you guys a closer look at these uh, lantern mantles. Uh, these are actually pretty cool to me because I don't have any of them in my collection, at least now I do. They're to be used in a gasoline uh, lantern, which is kind of interesting. I didn't realize they used uh, gasoline lanterns. It was probably before my time. I remember propane when I went camping. Uh, but these aren't dangerous. They are radioactive, but the radiation isn't too intense. Uh, it gives about uh, 20,000 counts per minute. Uh, normal background radiation is 35 counts per minute, so that's like around 800 to 900 times above background radiation. But the type of radiation that is coming off of this is mainly alpha and beta radiation, which isn't too penetrating. It also does give off some gamma radiation, but very little. And just to show you how radioactive it is, I have my Geiger counter here. So as you can hear, the radiation drops off pretty suddenly, like when you get like a little further away from this. The reason why they use thorium in these lantern mantles is because it would burn very bright and it would actually last a little bit longer than other methods that they were using. But now, uh, since Coleman and other manufacturers have gotten away from using thoriated lantern mantles, they use yttrium now, which is another rare earth uh, mineral that burns brightly, kind of the way thorium does, except for it's not radioactive. Now these aren't dangerous uh, if you're uh, being a little careful with them. And by a little careful, I mean just uh, don't eat them and don't uh, uh, breathe in the ashes from when these are burned. Uh, the ashes after these are burned should probably just be disposed of, it'd probably be fine. The amount of radioactivity on these is pretty low. So it's really nothing to uh, be too concerned about. The ashes can contaminate an area if you're not careful about it. Uh, so if you have them like in a lantern and you're changing this out and putting in a new lantern mantle and dumping out the old ashes, uh, 
that ash is still radioactive, even though these have been burned up. It, that will not change the radioactivity. It just takes a source that is pretty well contained in this lantern mantle and turns it into a more easily dispersible source, uh, which is a bunch of uh, burned up uh, lantern mantle ash. So that's something to think about uh, if you still have these and you're, if you're still using them in your, uh, in your uh, gas lantern. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed a, a quick look at this and a quick little recap of that antique shop or those two antique shops. But anyway, I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.